page six. Are you guys aware that um Black China, the what would you call her? The video vixen? I don't know how you describe Black China. But Black China is suing the Kardashians as an entire family because she feels like um they played a part in getting her reality TV show that she had with Rob Kardashian cancelled. I had no idea this was happening. I only found out now because Page Six put out this report about the first day in court, which is as follows as a headline. Kardashians visibly annoyed by sex tape comments during jury selections. And it's hilarious to read because essentially what's happened is that for the first time in a long time, I would imagine, they've had to encounter the Kardashians, I'd mean, real people, like normal normies on the street who have their own interpretation or idea of who they are as people because i feel like sometimes the criticism they get as a family mostly comes through the prism of like media elites entertainment people cultural commentators and whatnot so you can sometimes be divorced from what the general public thinks of them as people and you would imagine if you're a, um, a parent um just a regular person it can be difficult to like them as a family because you would feel like especially if you have a daughter that they are the reason why you're having so many issues, you know, raising your daughter in a certain way, maybe enforcing certain rules, um, maybe helping them get over certain body issues and dysmorphia and self-worth and all these kind of things. And it'll be natural and okay to kind of see the Kardashians and all the nonsense that they perp perpetuate over the years. I feel like, oh, these guys might be at fault for what's going on with me at home or for society overall in terms of what you're observing out there in culture. And um, for whatever reason, also, it feels like they don't seem to get that as a family, which which makes sense. I mean, they live in a gated community. They fly private. They're always driving in luxurious cars. When you have wealth, it kind of isolates you and they're ridiculously famous. So they don't really interact with regular people. But regular schmegular people will always look at you side eye especially you think of the whole Khloe Kardashian debacle with her you know um, baby daddy Tristan that whole thing was really weird to wrap yourself your head around even somebody who doesn't even watch the show just to view it from the outside you're like hold on you guys ostracized and kicked out um what's her name Jordan Woods for the alleged incident that supposedly she tried to hook up with Justin and Tristan or whatever it may be but then on the same token he then continues to cheat on this lady in very public way to the point where he gets another one night stand woman pregnant and then she has his baby but then you're forgiving that and you're able to bring him back in her home and make it work but then you were went full scorched earth on this lady who might have had a little cheeky lap lap sit or whatever that was inappropriate at the time it just didn't make any sense like why do you go so hard at the girl when clearly the issue is the guy that lives in your house but again, we move. But I thought these comments are really interesting because it goes to show how disconnected I feel like most celebrities are from what regular people think of them, um, which is obviously beneficial. It's probably not the most beneficial thing to tap into what everyone thinks, especially if they're not your fans. But I thought this report of how they conducted themselves when certain things came up was really interesting anyway. So the article on page six says as follows. The Kardashians and Jenners were less than thrilled to hear Kim Kardashian's sex tape scandal during jury selection for the family's pending trial against Black China. Page Six was inside Los Angeles Supreme Court on Monday when Kardashian Jenner attorney Michael Rhodes asked a group of potential jurors if they had strong positive or negative feelings toward the reality TV television people. Right? Yes. One potential juror, a man who appeared to be in his 50s or 60s, claimed. He'd never watched Keeping Up Kardashians, but noted, I have watched Kim Kardashian's sex tape, and I don't think I can be impartial on this case. <laughs> imagine, right? That was a big part of their success as a family overall, you would imagine, especially in terms of popping them into the cultural zeitgeist. And despite everything that's gone on, the billions that this lady's men made, all this sort of stuff, and family and career stuff, blah, 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 blah. It's still a weird smudge and a mark on their name even though you feel like nowadays nudity porn sex work only fans all the adult content has now become way more acceptable you feel like in society but still for whatever reason this sex tape thing doesn't leave kim as a cloud it doesn't go away and it, it kind of covers the entire family really because essentially like i said they all benefited from that sex tape leaking and then basically 
being able and their names being propelled into the limelight and obviously they took advantage of it and maybe it was always meant to happen anyway but regardless it's very interesting nowadays that still it's kind of a taboo I guess for the lady, for Kim herself involved, it makes sense because it's a private moment that you maybe didn't want to get out there. It depends who you believe. Some people feel like it was something planned. I don't know. But it's it maybe as well, even if you did plan to do it in your 20s, you're now in your 40s and you're a mum of four, you might just be simply embarrassed by it and you wish it would, would go away. Crazy. And it also goes to show that what Wike 100 was saying, that that laptop existed with more footage is true because clearly it still affects them. Um, you know, in a way that probably shouldn't have if that other footage didn't exist, if that makes sense. The response elicited a roar of laughter from the other potential jurors sitting in the audience. After that remark, Khloe Kardashian Face 7 was seen fixing Kim's hair, dark locks, as if to comfort her sister. Kris Jenner then shook her head and the same man reiterated to the juror that it would be difficult for him to serve as a juror because he would be replaying that sex tape in his head again and again. How many times have you watched that sex tape, brother? I only think you need to watch it once. It's not even a sex tape. It's like a weird video recording of them being intimate and it's just a bit awkward. It's not the most entertaining tape, though, especially if you watch actual porn. Like, why not watch actual adult entertainment with actual professionals instead of watching, you know, a couple do their thing in their bedroom? It's just didn't really do anything for anyone i don't think like but if you really want to demean it maybe it's a way of to demean someone too if you don't like them you just remind them of their most embarrassing moment and try to spin it off as you being concerned for yourself not being able to do this yeah it's a little bit mean it continues while kim 41 kept her gay towards the front of the courtroom chloe looked visibly annoyed by the comments of course she did the one person who kind of excuses any sort of bullshit men do but then is the first to comment and ah, anyway fuck her i um, carried that some first same fresh expression as her and her sisters chris walked out of the courtroom for a break chloe kim and chris sat on the first row of the audience seat alongside kylie jenner 24 and their beefed up security team rob kardashian 35 was not present china 33 was also in the courtroom sat in front next to her lawyer linny clanny her mother tokyo tony also attended the meeting you know what's also funny isn't it also funny that you would imagine as a family, they probably look down on Black China and and um, Tokyo Tony, right? Black China's mum. They probably think they're better than them, more classy, more sophisticated, well-mannered, richer, whatever. But still, in a court of law, they're now having to subject themselves to sit across from this lady to protect their name, protect their brand, protect their likeness, and to repair their re reputation because, you know, they don't want this to go... They don't want this... They don't want the conclusion of this to be, yes, you're found guilty of sabotaging this woman's reality TV show because it's going to reveal a very nasty, almost evil, conniving side of them that they've done really well to keep under lid, if you think about it as a family. Because no one believes any, you know, I think we've always kind of had this adv um, thinking. Most billionaires don't get to be billionaires just through being kind, nice people all the way through their life. They've done some dark, nasty, cold-hearted shit that's allowed them to attain as much wealth as they have done. Some people turn a blind eye to it. Some people can explain it away, but it just is what it is. It's probably a small co collection of people that have been able to attain that wealth being nice people. But for the most part, in the world we live in at the moment, you have to do some dark shit to get where you want to get to. So they've done a good job as a family to keep that under the lid. Mostly it's all happy stuff, family stuff, kid stuff, career stuff, woman stuff, blah de blah. But you don't really see the nasty dark side of them as business women in general. It's all kind of kept under the lid. But this might end up blowing it up into the public and again by two people that they feel like are beneath them. People that they probably wouldn't spit on if they're on fire, do you know what I mean? As of Monday, two groups of potential jurors totaling 76 people have been asked questions to determine eligibility and serving unbiasedly on a trial. How can you, man? They're too famous. Everyone there. I'm, I'm assuming even the ones that don't know much about Black China know her name, know her likeness, know roughly what is going on with her. It's just impossible to find them, I would imagine. Um, attorneys are planning to question a third party panel of 24 potentials on Tuesday. Several of the people questioned Monday said they knew the Kardashians are jealous because of the kids who watch their shows and follow them on social media. One juror admitted it would be difficult for him to be impartial to a trial because he doesn't like reality TV and wished the show wasn't an any longer. A lot of people have to say. 
Ease keeping up connection was up for 20 seasons from 20, 2007 to 2021. During that time, several spin off shows, including Mark Robin China, debuted their latest series, The Kardashians, and um, premiered last week on Hulu. And obviously, there's um, Black China there with Rob back in the day. In 2017, China filed a lawsuit against the Kardashians, including Courtney, um, Kendall, and others over claims of assault and battery, domestic violence, and defamation. Um, in phrase of a protective economic relations, a reality star who shares a five year old dream with Rob accused her ex of being an abuser and his family of being media predators who pulled a plug on the couple's show. China is seeking more than $40 million for the loss of earnings and more than $60 million in loss of future earning capacity damages. The Canadian journalist responded to Jones' claims of a lawsuit of their own legend influencer violently attacked Rob. So it's crazy back and forth. And then I think the other update on it, um, obviously they attended, they shook their heads, there's Black China in a suit. Um, and then I think what did what did the mum say? The mum said something wild. Yeah, this is Black China's mum who's as ratchet as they come. She says as follows. Black China's mum's Black China's mum mum's Black China's mum blasted Kardashian Jenner's Monday night after facing the famous family in court. Tokyo Tony went on Instagram live and said Chris Jenner, um, Kim Kardashian and Kylie Jenner and Co Kardashian looked scary in real life and mentioned them having dips in their faces. <laughs> <laughs> so mean. They said it's just so sad. Then Chloe was shaking her fucking head everything that every juror said. Tony recapped. You alright, bitch? Did you have some Xanax or something before you get there, bitch? Tony 50, who appeared to be rolling a blunt throughout the live stream, became increasingly incoherent as she went on to compare old and decrepit Chris to a little man on a tricycle in the horror movie Saw. They look like they had, they're all dead, Tokyo Tony says, but come on, Tokyo Tony, you don't, you don't look like the bastion of good health yourself, madam. Let's be real. Um, but yeah, Miss Jenna was worried about her physical safety, Rose said, um, the 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 Monday okay. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> comparing Chris Jenner to what is it compared to to, to Jigsaw movies? It's just <laughs> so mean, man. The illustrations are iconic, though. It's a really good illustration. Whoever drew them, bloody hell, impressive as hell. Who's it by? It's by a person called Mona Schaefer Edwards. Ridiculously good illustration, I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, the trial of the century is on at the moment. Defamation of, the, it feels like everyone's suing each other for defamation, isn't it? Um, Brenda Schub suing people. Uh, who else is suing people? You got the thing with um, Amber Heard and J Johnny Depp. You got this thing. It seems that like everyone's going to court these days and it's to silence people like, you cannot talk about me anymore. Silence. Crazy times. Crazy, 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 crazy times. 